good day to all today i am going to make a short demonstration on ultrasonic sensor using arduino arduino but now i am trying to simulate this in tinkercad rather than hardware you know later we can easily make it up with the hardware components also now what you see in this particular in this particular image you know i i will try to actually tell you first of all all uh, the components here what are the components i have chosen so if you see here the basic you know if you right side if you see in the basic this is basic components i have searched for arduino and then this is arduino board the blue one which you see this is arduino and we have taken a breadboard and of course the ultrasonic sensor see why this uh, breadboard is required and all i will tell you but okay this is this are the components i have chosen first and the other component which i have chosen the led this is led which i named it or which i colored so this is led which i colored it is green this is again led which i colored it to or blue led again which is colored it which i colored it red colored it red okay now there are resistance here which have uh, you know given a value of 330 volts you know but, but the signal which is given by the arduino board is 5 volts but the led will not take that much volts it will take less than 5 volts <clears throat> so that is the reason we have to actually reduce it and now what is the purpose here actually ultrasonic sensor what is the purpose here so if i click on this you know this is known as ultrasonic distance sensor here so one is a trigger that means which sends the signal to the arduino so this particular second one you know first to first pin is the power pin which is connected to 5 volts second one is the trigger pin that means trigger means suppose an object is coming it will send a signal to the arduino the third is the echo that means it will receive the signal from the arduino back and the last one is ground so it will be connected to the ground of the arduino so we have connected the trigger pin and the echo pin to digital pins here five pin is connected to trigger and six pin is connected to the echo pin okay now what is the purpose of led here you know see uh, uh, before i tell you that i'll start simulation here i have written a what is called a code using blocks actually i have taken a help of one uh, youtube video also i have taken i have done this here so there is a val variable taken and everything is given here i start simulation this is a code which i have written here which you can see here but what happens here when we when we do that okay let's go into this this is our this is a tinker cat this is my login id here if you can if i can actually click here uh, this is i am in my login so uh, this is my account actually now i start simulation so it is actually you can see the simulation started now ultrasonic sensor means what that means there should be some object which is coming near to it right which is coming near to it and then we should be in a position to assess how much distance it is coming to that right i i even have to actually know how much is the distance we we are trying to actually see that so if i uh, see if you can see this you know you can see the serial monitor it is showing some distance constant distance that is 169 yeah how do i see that in this particular okay now i go to the ultrasonic sensor trigger pin and i click on it now you see there is something uh there is something which is actually shown as a uh, as a block so let me again click it here so that you can see yeah now see somebody is there here so it is fixed as 169.7 so where do i see that i go to the code i go to this here serial monitor and then if i don't want to see this output this is output like this and then again i this is serial monitor here i again click it here i am seeing this now i close this code again i come to this back now i move this distance move this object as if you know this is the range for this ultrasonic sensor which is actually given here so this is this is moving now this is an 111.9 cm like again go to the code check the check the you know serial monitor level it is showing 112 that means that is the distance with which the ultrasonic sensor has detected one object coming to the uh, what is called 
vicinity. Now the LEDs, what is the code which I have written is that suppose if the object is less than suppose say 150 centimeters. Okay. I stop simulation, I go to the code, I actually do something here. I actually tell you this, you know, if it is suppose say in the vicinity of less than 75, the what do you call, you know, the blue light should actually trigger. Now, if it is less than 100, uh, you know, the green or, you know, the first one is green LED, next one is blue LED, blue LED should actually glow. Next one, if it is actually uh, uh, in the vicinity less than 150 centimeters or 150, yeah, 150 centimeters, what it is actually depicting us, uh, then my, you know, uh, Go to this place yeah. again. I'll see the code here. So this will be again. You know what are the units also? You know that is also very important to understand. What which units is actually showing this? You know now if you see this, you know there is nothing showing here. Right? The units are also calculated in centimeters. We can get in centimeters. Right? Now if I go to the now now again start simulation. I click this here. That means an object is coming to this. Yeah, now object is coming. Now see now I'll make it. Less than 150 centimeters. Now it is how much? 166 centimeters. Now, how to see that? Go to the code, go to the serial monitor here at the top, at the bottom right, it is 167, right? I stop the code, I close the code, and then again I slowly come down. I'm at 154. You normally check the LEDs which is glowing now. What I'm saying is, if it is less than 150, Less than 150, or you know, just less than 150 or 150. It is see the LED, LED is glowing, red color LED is glowing. See this here. Now it is less than 100. What I've been saying is the less than 100. Another another LED will come into picture. That is sir, blue LED has glowed. Beautiful, no? Now again one more LED which is said 75 less than 75. Green LED has closed. Now if this distance is not less than 75. Green LED has stopped, but still blue LED is in on. Why is in high mode? I mean, digital is understand is one because we said hundred, right? So I move up above hundred. It is still it is it is it is stopped. That means it is low condition, but still red color is on. Now I go up. I go beyond one fifty. That means now red LED is off condition. See that? See the changes here? You know. So this is how the ultrasonic distance sensor works and I try to actually show you how this is simulated in Tinkercad. Now these green color, you know, green color, uh, you know, uh, uh, connections here or these connections, these are all connections which you can actually uh, try to connect in the actual board. You know? When you purchase, when you have these hardware components, you can actually get connection wise and then you actually do that. Okay. Uh, with this, I, I hope you understood how this ultrasonic sensor works here. Now, suppose if the code, the same code is there. If I have this code in the block, uh, I have to stop the simulation. Right. Now I stop the simulation. Now, yeah, this is the code which we are seeing. Now, if I download this code, that means here, if I go and download the code, the code will be downloaded and you can open this in Notepad and, and you can write in Arduino, uh, Arduino sketch. Uh, uh, the program you can write Arduino sketch program. Now, now let us see the downloaded code here. So if I open this here, so this will come as a uh, this is another. I, I don't know whether you are able to see this code or not, but still uh, this code comes here, and then you know this you can utilize and then run the program in your particular Arduino sketch. Oh, I, I I think you know I tried this a lot and a lot, lot lot I tried to write the program once twice thrice four times I practiced in Tinkercad and ultimately I could actually get you know I took support from my friends also and then I could make such a video. Mm -hmm. I hope this will be helpful to you. Please try with yourself if you have internet and a desktop or a laptop it will definitely work. Then try with your uh, uh, own logic and then. Instead of LEDs, you can actually put it. Buzzer also, you can put, you know, uh, other things also, you can actually see what you can try to do. Okay. Then, uh, find that. And uh, I take you, see you with the next video, knowledgeable video. Bye-bye and take care.